So this is set to be a crazy, crazy week. You know, a lot of us are coming off the hills of a summer that kind of threw us for a loop in certain areas of our life because we went through Venus being in retrograde in Leo, which affected the Leo parts of our charts. So, you know, if you have Leo in your fourth house, maybe there was some changes within your home. If you have Leo in your first house, maybe there was, you know, changes with your identity. You know, if there was Leo in your seventh house, you know, maybe you had some changes in terms of dating and relationships and just, you know, your one-to-one partnerships. Nonetheless, we have Venus that is now in direct motion. We have Mercury retrograde that has finally gone back direct. And there is a lot that is going on towards the end of this week on a social ladder, on a global collective ladder, and also on a personal ladder as well. You know, there is energy that is changing. Okay, we're going to have some big ships coming up around the weekend. And (sighs) there's going to be some big ships happening collectively. Okay, so you want to definitely take a look out for September 23rd. Okay, there's going to be a lot of new beginnings coming in. There's going to be a lot of deception and envy that's going to be playing out on, again, on a global and personal scale. And there's also going to be a lot of light and triumph and faith, you know, coming through. So if you want to know more about this, then stay tuned after, uh, you know, after the jump. I feel like I need You tried to fight, but you My brain is racing for My heart is racing for So starting this reading off as the overall theme of the week, we have chaos and conflict, which is not a good sign for me because honestly, in this Oracle deck that I'm using chaos and conflict, I don't, not that it's not a good sign. It's just troubling. And the reason why I say troubling is because for me, this means that there's definitely going to be a tower moment that a lot of you are probably not expecting. This is definitely going to be a week for the collective again. And when I say collective, I mean on a personal level, but also on a worldwide collective, right? Whenever we have these tower moments, this is when things have hit the fan. Um, A lot of times it's after, you know, ignoring the red flags, ignoring the red flags, you know, going through life thinking, okay, I'm going to just keep doing it my way, my way, my way. And then this is divine intervention, okay? This is a moment in which the universe steps in and says, hey. We're going to try things differently, whether you like it or not. And it is ultimately going to be for your better good, no matter how uncomfortable it may seem at first. And that is exactly what is going to be happening this week, okay? That is the energy that we are in, again, personally and collectively, right? Chaos and conflict. This is disarray. This is being at cross purposes with another. This is the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere, but consider the value of chaos that serves you well. As you become unmooned by it, scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself that you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also its internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at a cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel like you can't control, yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. There are changes coming, (laughs) y'all. There are changes coming, whether you like it or not. And I do do believe there's going to be a lot of new beginnings. In fact, again, that is the theme of the week. The theme of this week is new beginnings that have been trying to come in. Seeds have already been planted. And where have you told yourself no? Where have you told yourself like, okay, no, or not right now, or like, I know I need to do this, but now's not the right time, or, oh, I know someday I need to pay attention to this, but like, you know, it's not my focus right now. The universe is literally saying no, but it is though. 
but it is, you know, whether it's you knowing that, okay, I need to make that move. I need to, you know, jump into that new job, jump into that career field that's wildly different than anything I've ever expected and I'm uncomfortable and I know I need to do it at some point, but I'm just not ready. Or if it's jumping into that relationship where it's like, okay, you know who it is that's going to make you happy. You know who it is that, you know, is, is the one that you're supposed to be with. You know what's going to bring you your 10 of cups, but yet fear has held you back. Or it could be leaving a relationship, right? I know that I'm in this relationship that's unhealthy, that's toxic for me, but you know, right now I have a roof over my head. I can't even think about what's going to happen should I leave this relationship, right? Whatever the situation is, there is a door that is offering you a new beginning. These are seeds that have already been planted. I promise you, whatever comes up this week is not going to be anything new. It's not going to be anything just like out of nowhere. It's going to be things that you have already been thinking about, already known that someday there's going to be some sort of change. And whether you were waiting for the universe to bring in that change or you were waiting on yourself to take physical action, now is the time, right? Because I do feel like that's part of where that deception and, and um, envy might be popping up as well as on a collective level. I do feel like we are being lied to about a lot. Another message that I want to put out there. I know it's hard times for a lot of people do not go rushing to go buy the meat that they are selling. Okay. When it comes to McDonald's, when it comes to Burger King, all of these fast food restaurants that are selling meat, please do not go out and rush to buy it. I want for people to join my Patreon so I can start having uncensored conversations about real things aside from just the gossip and whatnot that I talk about on my channel. But it, please do not go rushing to buy these burgers. Homelessness is an overall epidemic within the United States, if not the world. These companies selling their burgers at less than a dollar, almost a penny, you know what I mean? And they're saying, oh, just download the app and you can come buy a burger or however many burgers for a penny. That should automatically raise red flags to you. And if you are the type to think, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. Oh, this is not the channel for you, okay? Maybe you're not involved in your thinking. I'm not here to fuck with your logical mind. Like, this is a place for evolved souls, okay? People that want to vibrate higher. And I am telling you, do not participate in these cells that are being run, these deals, quote unquote, that are being run, you know, by these fast food companies. Because it's a deal, all right, but what you're getting back in exchange for what it is that you're buying you're not going to want. And it's not worth whatever it is that they're selling because they're not being upfront and honest about that. Okay. A couple of months ago, we had red smoke everywhere. And then at that time, we also had train derailments everywhere. We also had a submarine go missing. Um, then we had the UFO sighting that happened in Las Vegas. You know, it's a bunch of crazy stories that was happening back to back to back to back. And while everybody was focused on these stories that were happening back to back to back, since really like the top of the year, but more so since June, while everybody was focused on the submarine story and focused on the red smoke that was popping up everywhere. Yeah. The FDA and, you know, the government, they secretly announced, you know, that lab meat was being tested and that they are just going to go ahead and start selling it, you know, um, and start using it in the restaurants, whether people know it or not. Like, and a lot of people who heard the news already, felt like, okay, this is something that y'all have been doing. Meat has been tasting different. Um, you know, like whether you buy it from a restaurant or you buy it from the grocery store, like it's been tasting different. A lot of people have been waking up as they, they're starting to vibrate higher and they're like, okay, no, the meat is off. The food is off. Things are different now, especially after we shifted from old earth into new earth on June 18th. Like people are waking up to the BS, right? And again, a lot of people don't realize that, yes, back when, you know, we were being distracted with the submarine and the red smoke everywhere, that was one of the messages that was put out there, right? They had begun um, testing. Well, they had already been testing lab meat, fake meat, okay? And the Simpsons actually predicted, too, that some of the meat that's being tested is actual how do you put it? It's it's actual like cow meat reground, regrounded, right? It's like cow meat grounded up into ground beef that they feed back to the cow and then they grind that up and then they sell it. So it's a whole bunch of things that's out there. Like I said, this is YouTube censorship. 
like I, I can't really go full into detail, but I'm gonna just say, stay away. Okay. Stay away. Stay away. A lot of things coming up over the next two, three weeks that is going to change and be pivotal, pivotal, pivotal. When we look back in a couple of years, if not even a couple of months, when the next quote unquote pandemic comes or where, when the next quote unquote wars start to happen, the next couple of weeks are going to be pivotal and are going to change a lot. Okay. So just make sure that you're vib vibrating high. Just make sure that you're aligned with spirit. Just make sure that you're praying. Just make sure that you're staying faithful. Just be on your P's and Q's. Okay. Be on your P's and Q's. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into some of these energies. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with, actually, I was going to, I was going to go in depth, but I'm not. We're going to take it oracle by oracle. Okay. So first up, okay, let's see what new beginnings are coming in. Okay, Spirit, what do we have? What new beginnings are coming in this week for the collective? What new beginnings are coming in this week for the collective? New partnerships. And when I say partnerships, that's not exclusive. That's not mutually exclusive to dating, but just new partnerships overall. I've been saying that for the last couple of months, really. Am I keeping that? Okay. What else do we have? Yeah, for those of you guys that's been waiting on some sort of change or waiting for some sort of like new beginning, I feel like it's it's almost like the, the storm, right? I feel like right now is the eye of the storm. I feel like it's the eye of the storm where you're going to realize, okay, this needs to change. This needs to change. Keeping that? Okay. This needs to change. Yeah. And then as I say that, we have the five of cups along with the ten of pentacles. It's almost like a, okay, a twister comes in and destroys everything, right? It's like you knew that that house needed to be remodeled and then all of a sudden you come in and then you realize that there's water damage and it's like, ugh, uh, like, ugh, uh, you know what I mean? And it's sad because it's like, okay, it's water damage to the house and it's like, oh my God, the work that needs to be done. But it's like, you knew that work needed to be done. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a, almost like a, happy begin no, a sad beginning or like a uh I, I forgot what they call it I forgot what they call it but it's, it's it's like you knew that the work needed to be done the universe came in made a way for you to get the work and while it's stressful and while it may be annoying at first it's like oh but the way that this leads to abundance right the way that this leads to to greatness the way that this is going to lead to things that are fruitful and profitable for you. You know what I mean? Like it's going to lead you to exactly where you need to be. I also too feel like for those of you guys that have been waiting, cause I, I am picking up on, um, kind of like a, what was me energy? Kind of like a, okay, everybody else is getting their shot. Everybody else is getting their turn, but when am I going to have mine? Like, I feel like just relax. It's coming in. It's coming in. It's coming in. Right. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is all about the slow build, the slow grind. It's almost like you being in that last stretch of the race, right? That last stretch of the race. And it's just like, I've been grinding. I've been working. I've been building. I've been working towards, you know, my happiness, towards my new beginning. But I do, again, I do feel like something is coming. And I don't feel like it's necessarily bad on a personal level it may be life is about duality so sometimes it does you do have to go through the rough in order to get to you know the bad i mean the good you know what i mean you do have to go through the storm to get to the rainbow but i feel like ultimately it's going to come right so while i feel like it might be like getting emotions riled up right like some of you i'm not even gonna hold you you might be going through a dark night of the soul right and then ultimately it's like ah Right? Like, it's, it just feels like a purge. It feels like a huge purge that leads you to your Ten of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles. It's like a huge weight that gets lifted off your shoulder. And you're like, damn, I didn't even realize that was holding me back. I didn't realize that, I, like, my fear of wanting to be loved or my fear that I'm going to find love and then I'm going to mess it up, like, was holding me back from 
this relationship. Like, that's why I was saying no to this person this whole time. That's why I was scared to take that job. That's why I was scared to go out there and venture out into the world, right? Because then at the bottom of the deck, we literally have the Ace of Wands. We have No, we have the Ace of Cups, okay, which is your love overflowing. This is abundance overflowing. We got the Page of Wands and we got the Four of Wands. So it's like, yeah, like literally right around the corner is what you've been wanting. It's just a matter of like that last hoorah, that last purge, that last let's get it out of the system. Like, you're there. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like when you're in like the last stretch of the race and then it's just you make it past the finish line. It's just like, <sighs> you know, that's where we're at. OK, so let's see. What do we have for this deception and envy that's coming up? Mm. We got the three of wands. OK, so the deception and the envy that's coming up is that we have so much more further to go than we actually do. OK, then we also have the four of cups and we have the sun following that. Yeah, it's that deception feeling of like that you have so much further to go or that once you get to a certain place that it's not going to be what you want. It's not going to be aligned to your happiness or that you're not truly going to be. Ha it's almost like a I went through all of this for nothing type of feeling. You know what I mean? It's like, what if. I went through all of this for nothing. What if the work that I put in, you know, the blood that I've shed, the tears that I've cried, like, what if it was all for nothing? What if? But I feel like it's you more so lying to yourself. And I feel like it's ultimately maybe like a uh, laziness creeping in, right? This is laziness creeping in. This is you feeling sorry for yourself because if you feel sorry for yourself, then it's like, well... It's just you scared of being happy, scared of being happy, right? Scared of truly being happy, right? Now, for others of you, because I did have somebody mention to me that they've been struggling with a relationship. Again, I do feel like it's scared of happiness, right? It's like lying to yourself and saying, okay, I can wait this out. I can battle this out. Like everything is going to be okay or hoping and praying that everything is going to be okay. When you know, deep down inside, you have to do the work. And I always used to say, you got to do the inner work to get to the outer paycheck, right? Now, the last energy that we have, light and triumph, okay? So, Spirit, what do we have for that? What do we have for that? And then lay it out. Reverse. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we have the uh, six of, wait, what is this? We got the six of wands in reverse. We have the moon upright, and then we have the high priestess upright. Honestly, I feel like there, I, like, I almost want to say that this is a week where the veil is going to be lifted. Because I, I am getting, like, a lot of insecurities coming. There's, like, a lot of insecurities here where it's, like, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how I'm going to survive. I don't know how. Like, and to break it down in specific situations, because this is a general reading, but to break it down in specific situations, let's say if money is funny, it's like, I don't know where my next meal is coming from. I don't know how I'm going to be able to survive without having a job. I don't know how I'm going to make it to work. I don't know. Like, I don't even have gas in my car. Like, I don't know how that's going to work. How is me trusting the universe going to, like, put money in my tank or put food in my belly? Like, or... If it's love, like, I don't even feel like I'm going to find someone. Like, how is that person going to come in? Like, how am I ever going to be happy when it comes to love and relationships? How is my boyfriend or my girlfriend ever going to, like, treat? Like, it just feels very much like a lack of confidence, a lack of recognition or feeling like it's almost like, like, I feel like. It's that feeling of spirit has passed me up. The universe has passed me up. God has passed me up, right? And I feel like there needs to be a connection back to spirit. Like you have to vibrate higher. Like in order for these new beginnings to come in, you have to stop repeating things to yourself that you've already gone. It's like you've already gone through that. You've already been through that chapter. Chapter closed. You've already gone through that level. It's time to advance on to the next level. And even though what you want isn't necessarily here right in front of your eyes, you need to understand that it's being worked on and that it's, it's tangibly so close, closer than you could ever imagine. Okay? Even though you may not necessarily see it, you can feel it. 
Okay, you can fill it. You can fill it. And some of you guys, I'm going to keep it frank. Some of you cannot fill it because you're more so allowing logic to take over your intuition. And so it becomes a head over heart matter. And it's like, you need to stop thinking about it and like literally fill it because it's so within your energy field. So within your energy field. But it that requires you to connect back to spirit and know that you are seen by spirit, that spirit has not forgotten about you, that God has not forgotten about you, that the universe has not forgotten about you, okay? And so, again, I do feel like, taking it back to the beginning, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of, some sort of something that happens that almost kind of like aligns you back to spirit. Like aligns you back to God that makes you realize like, okay, the universe is real. Spirit is real. God is real. Like I'm going to be okay. Or that this all is going to be okay. I, that I'm not forgotten. Bottom of the deck, we have five of swords. Sometimes the victory is not worth the cost. This is about conflicts, disagreements, competition, defeat. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give you a protection message. Okay, Spirit, what do we have? What protection message do we have? Okay, that literally flew out. This better not be TikTok. And it is. <laughs> and it literally is. I wish I was on camera right now. Those of y'all that used to be on online and soul channel, y'all know, child, when Spirit be throwing the cards out, and it's literally TikTok, like I thought. And I just went right to the page. This is timelessness. This is divine timing. This is a measurable time. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if this isn't true at all? What if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order? Now, that's crazy that the book would say that, right? Let me reread that sentence one more time. What if everything created... What if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order were happening now in a glorious way? Literally, the first card that I got for you guys was chaos and conflict. But let me keep going. You have all the time in the world to create the life you desire. So release your agenda. Let go of your need to reshape each moment to your expectations, knowing that, it, that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them right on time. Shout out to Spirit. I'm telling y'all, shout out to my guides. Shout out to my guides. Shout out to Spirit. And your protection message. Have you been feeling as if the clock is ticking and getting a little nervous that your dreams are taking too long to manifest? There's nothing to fear. You will never run out of time for the important things. The miracles that are yours and yours alone cannot be missed. Isn't that amazing? You're in such capable hands with guides and angels hovering in the invisible spaces, ensuring that your journey will be filled with all sorts of goodies. Let your anxiety be gently dispelled by your faith. Spirit will never deny you your highest good. All is yours in divine appropriate timing so you can relax. And that's literally why I can end this, end this reading right here. Like I said, listen. Allow whatever to take fold, to take fold. This to me kind of sounds like eclipse energy. I know that we are coming up on the full moon in Aries towards the end of the month. And then we're actually going to start gearing up for eclipse season. So this could take place this week or it could take place over the next month because we do have that full moon in Taurus. And then we do have that uh, North Node eclipse in Libra, I want to say, if not Aries. Um Chow is one of the eclipses. I think we get in both eclipses next month. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there's a lot that's about to change. There's a lot that's about to happen. And so if the big event doesn't happen now, there's definitely going to be some sort of seed as to what you can expect that's coming over the next month. Okay. So yeah, I want y'all to comment down below, especially, you know, after this week is up and then, you know, in about a month. Cause yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. There's a new beginning here, whether you like it or not. And I suggest you don't try to fight it. Some of you already know what the new beginning is. Some of you have seen it coming. Um, and really, this is just more of a full circle moment. This is whatever you have manifested, whatever seeds have been planted. This is everything coming full circle. So don't try to fight it because it may not come the way that you want it to. You know what I mean? It may not come in the way that you want it to, but just know whatever door closes, baby, a new house is going to welcome you into it. You know what I mean? Like whatever is, is falling away, 
you're going to get so much more tenfold. Okay. So do not look down again. This is a general reading. So sorry to be specific unless you book a personal reading, but maybe like if you lose a relationship, it might be your marriage, marriage partner that you meet next. You know, if you lose an apartment, it might be because you're about to move into a home. Okay. So let whatever fall away so that the blessing can truly come to you. Okay. But when you try to get in the way of the universe, okay, you you try to get in the way of what's an energetic vibrational match for you, you could suspend that. You could hold that up. You know what I mean? It's like somebody trying to plug their iPhone charger into the outlet and then you stick in your hand right there. It's like, why would you do that? Let the charger go into the outlet, baby. Let it go into the outlet, okay? Now, if you plug it into the outlet and somebody gets shocked, okay, now that's one thing. But, like, don't block your hand in the way of spirit trying to do their work, okay? And the universe trying to do its work. So I love each and every one of y'all. Definitely make sure that you go to my website, thealigningsouls.com, to book you a personal reading. And definitely make sure that you sign up for patreon.com slash Scott Santana for extended readings, you know, extended and exclusive content. Because I'm not going to be posting like a thousand and one readings over here. You know, I might, you know, post all 12 Zodiac signs like once a week. But go over to Patreon. The more that I build Patreon, the more that I will continue posting as many readings as possible. Even specific readings like love, money, all of that. Okay? So go to my website, thealignedsouls.com to book you a personal reading while they are 50% off until Sunday before midnight. Or if you're not fully ready to jump in and book you a reading, even though it's 50% off, you can go ahead and hit the cash app. Okay? And you can do a little $50 quickie question but i suggest you book a full reading okay so we can figure out who you are where you are where you come from all of that and help you get into alignment okay so i'm just here to align you back to your highest soul your highest good your highest everything i love each and every one of y'all and i'll see you in the next one bye bye tell me what you want to be tell me